Oh, Hi everybody. I'm coming to you live. I you know, maybe look weird. Um, I lost my glasses, so these are my daughter's glasses. <laughs> but um, today is Mark for day. Um, they lost one of my best friends, my mama. And I want to thank each of you for having been a part of her life and my life all of this time. I want you to remember the teachings my mom gave. Those of you that know her, I want you to remember it. And even though I'm not doing the service today, I still decided to come on and um, just to encourage somebody. You may be going through something in your life and it may feel hopeless, it may feel helpless, and you wonder how in the world you're going to get through. I can't promise you it's going to change, but what I can tell you is that God hasn't died, and He will never leave you. He will never forsake you, even in the midst of your pain, in the midst of your troubles, in the midst of your struggles. Know that Jesus loves you. Know that you can make it. Mama's favorite song, song that she wrote, was Hold On, Jesus is the Coming. And that song was an encouraging song to people and the churches and that she traveled from church to church, she and dad, for years and making a difference in young people's lives and in old people's lives. And um, many times Jesus came in ways spiritually and blessed people financially, blessed them with healing and mentally. But today Jesus came for her. And... Um, She's out of her sickness. She's out of her pain. She's free. She's free. And um, it hurts. It hurts tremendously. Because Mama was my partner. Mama and I rode. She lived with me. So, you know, every inch of the house. Uh, it'd be sort of difficult. Because I'm sure I'll see her sitting in that chair by the window. I'll see her walking through the house. And leaving her cane and I'm saying mama why are you walking around this house without your cane hey but she'd come down those steps on her own uh and she prayed and she just loved the Lord and if I can leave anything with you I want to tell you love the Lord Jesus with all of your heart all of your mind your soul your spirit and your body and allow him to bless you no matter what you go through, he's got your back. He's got your back. And uh, he, he, he'll he take care of you. And um, and if you have to go through something, just know God will get you through. Just know God will get you through. And um, pray. God did some remarkable things for mom, though, this week. Um, just kind of let you know, God heard your prayers. Uh, even though today he came and got her, uh, it was her time. She was 94, 95 and um, lived a full life. Daddy was 95 when he left. And uh, so, but this week when we brought her, you know, when I brought her to the hospital on Tuesday, they wanted to... Um, sedate her and intubate her. I may not be saying it right. But um and um she they they wanted to intubate her. Um but we said no and her pressure was high. You get me? Her her pressure was high and they had given her um a blood pressure medicine to to keep her her to keep her blood pressure but God brought that pressure down to a point to a point where she didn't need any more of the medicine and um, her glucose was up God brought that down well her glucose was down as low as 21 God brought that up 
where it was like a hundred and something. And then some of the other things that during this week, she got to talk to the family on duo. She got to talk to her siblings, her um, children, some of the grandkids. And um, so God just did some awesome things this week. You know, even yesterday, Mama loves to read. And I, I gave her a book, and she was sitting there reading the magazine. So today, what happened, they sort of call it a mishap because they pull that arterial line and um, sort of mess. Some things happen, but Mama's kidneys also were failing. But she's well now. She's with the Lord. And I just want to say to you, Thank you for your prayers. Thank you for your faith. Um, your prayers didn't fail because Mama's life, um, she got to do some things extra. They were going, she would have been gone out of here Tuesday at least, wouldn't have been able to connect with anybody. But, and, um, but she got to, you know, connect with us and connect with others. And the nurses and the people there, she would tell them, I love you. they come back and say, oh, she told me I love you. Uh, then she would tell them, thank you, you know, for working on her. I appreciate you. So it says no matter what you go through, you can still be kind. Your mama was hurting. And um, sometimes, you know, it bothered her. But And she would tell them, you know, but she calmed when she was just, when it was over, she'd look and tell them, thank you, thank you. And so I, I just want to say to each of you, we not know what's going to happen in our families or happen in our lives. But what we need to be is to be prepared. Be all, the scriptures, what they say, be all so ready for you know not the minute nor the hour when the Son of Man will come back. One day we know is that he's coming back. He's coming again. And so therefore, what we need to do is to just be prepared. That's my mask. Well, it's another mask. So I, I wasn't going to, I was going to put a video on. But just seems like I just kind of wanted to say something to you. Um, because many of you know Mama, and you love her dearly. And so I want to thank you for just being there. Thank you for loving me and my siblings and our family. Um, and just pray for us. And one thing I know, I'm not going to stop. With God's help, um, we're not exactly sure the service yet will be between Friday and Sunday of this week. Um, and to my knowledge right now. But I intend to continue with these online services. Mama enjoyed them. And um, I can't stop. I have to go forward. And I want your prayers to pray for me and to pray for all my family, my siblings. Uh, because it's, even though people get old, hey, it doesn't mean that when you lose them that you don't feel any less pain. So I encourage you to keep God first in your life. That's what Mama would tell you. She said, hold on, hold on, hold on. And um, just love the Lord with all you got, all your heart. Love your family. Love your mother. Love your father. Be kind to them no matter how old they are. Take care of them. You may not feel like it, but one day they won't be there. And the time that you go other places, hey, Find a way to could be there for them. You might have to adjust your schedule, but be there. Be there because one day they won't be there or you won't be there. So um, I hope this is a, it's just something to just share a little bit of you with you about what we're going through. But remind you that in everything, the scripture says, and the scripture is just coming to me, give thanks for this is the will of God concerning you. I'm so glad he did not say, for everything, give thanks, but in everything. So even in the midst of this, I say, hallelujah, anyhow. Hallelujah, anyhow.
to God be the glory for the anointed woman that he sent to this earth. She prayed over my hands. And when you hear me playing, it's because mama prayed over my hands and that I would be able to play. And God did that. When you jump for much, much later. Much, much later. Uh, we're going to be driving later. Huh? Yeah. So I'm getting ready to go, but I want to just encourage you. Um, keep loving your family. Be there for them, no matter how hard it is. Your parents, go out of your way. You might have to reschedule your life to be there for them, but they are well worth it. They are well worth it. Um, never let them feel like a burden to you because after all they took care of you right whether it's your mother or your grandmother grandfather or father be there for them and children be there for your parents and and, um, let us just pray Father God in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth we thank you for your goodness for your mercy for your love and for your kindness we thank you Lord Jesus that greater is you that is in us than he that is in the world. We thank you, Lord Jesus, that we can trust you even in the midst of our pain. You don't make mistakes, even when it sometimes almost feel off, but yet in the midst of it, we can have a peace in knowing that, you know, our family member, Mama, Sister Ethel Corbett, God, is ready to meet you. And God, we pray for any sick God that's on here, Lord, that need healing or need touching in their bodies. We ask you to touch them, Lord, from the crown of their head to the hallelujah, soles of their feet. Let them begin to feel your presence, God. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we pray, God, anyone, Lord, that unsaved God or backsliders we pray God that you will reach into them and help them God to accept you as their Lord and Savior oh Father God in the name of Jesus because one day every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess Lord Jesus that you are Lord so therefore God help each one of us to be ready, to be prepared. Mm, You say, behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man will open unto me, I will come in and sup with them. God, help those that don't know you to open the doors of their heart and allow you, oh God, to change them, to save them. So when you come back, they will be ready. They will be ready. And help us, Lord, as saints that already know you. Help us to stay ready. Help us to not get caught up in things that distract us. Because we don't know when you're going to pluck us from this earth. Help us just to be ready. Young and old, God. And we love you today. We thank you for your grace. We thank you, oh, for saving us. We thank you, Father, for all the souls that lives were touched God, by my mom's, the Ethel Corbett's life. Oh, God, and we bless your name today. We say, have your way in us and help us, God, to fulfill the commission that you've given to us. Help us, Lord, to carry out the teachings we've been given and not to go backwards. Love you today, God, and we leave it all in your hands. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost, Lord Jesus, we thank you. God bless each of you. I encourage you, you know, even in the midst, and I say to my family and some of you that are on family and some that may see this later, let's stick together. You know, mom kept this family, I say, together uh, for years and years and years with family reunion and with prayer and with anointing and with encouraging us. And I want to encourage you, let's stick together. Let's get closer because there's coming a time when we won't be here. So let's find a way not to turn against each other, talk against each other, but just be there. Be there for each other. God bless you. This is a new day. It's a new day in my life, new day in Joy, Sam, Marie, Coop, Carolyn, uh, Lawrence, and all of our lives, it's a new day. But by faith, we can make it a new day in the grandchildren's lives. Oh, great-grandchildren in the 
nieces and nephews, the cousins, sisters, and Anna and Aunt Lottie. So I want to encourage us all, hold on, as Mama would say. Hold on. Jesus is a coming. Hold on. And the song says it may be in the morning, may be in the night, but keep holding on. Maybe in the midnight hour, but keep holding on. So that is my encouragement to you today. Hold on, hold on, hold on. And the sermon last week was hold on, help is on the way. Help is on the way. So whatever you're going through, know that you're not going through it by yourself. Help is on the way to get you through it. He will get you through it. He will. Love you and Jesus love you too. God bless you. I love you and the Lord loves you. Be encouraged. Mm. Bye-bye. Well, I usually close. May the grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ rule, rest, and abide with you now, henceforth, and forever. In Jesus' name, amen. Send some love to somebody. Tell them you love them. That's what Mama did. That's what Mama did. Pass it on. Pass it on. Pass it on. Love.